Okay. Start a new world in the same world, but this time texture pack. Yes, indeed. Now that we've got the preliminaries out of the way, what do you think about this whole Warhammer thing? You know, 40k, Henry Cavill getting in there. I was excited about it. I'm not the biggest 40k, you know, person. It's not something I ever really considered myself a fan of. I never bought any of the miniatures. I never did. I mean, really, I guess you'd say, hey, look, I never really did any of this stuff. But I'm definitely a fan of fandoms. I like the fact that there is a hobby that people like, that they enjoy, that they get something out of. That warms my heart. Always has, always will. And it can be anything. It can be Warhammer. It can be what, guns. It can be... <laughs> yeah. I mean, it can be anything. How do I pick this up? How do I pick... Can I pick this up somehow? I don't know. Anyway. So it can be, you know, anything. It can be knitting. Any of these things are... are Great. Usually they come with a community. That's always fun too. It's nice to get along with other people of like minds. And generally speaking, the fact that you are actually in a community with at least one shared interest means that you will value that shared interest over and above other things. So it's a good way to find people that are perhaps of a slightly different political disposition, someone that's, you know, people that are of a different socioeconomic background, you know, it, it helps you get in touch with the world. It allows you to see things from a different perspective while still, you know, being on solid footing. You're not scared of not being able to hang with these other people if you don't, you know, completely agree with them, because you know what? At the end of the day, we all like this one thing. So I like that. I like that that's a thing. The question becomes, when is it, you know, a religious adherence to the thing, whatever that hobby is? And when does it become something exclusionary? When does it become something that, you know what, might just be better off you not dealing with? Might be better off if you just kind of go your own way, divorce yourself from this thing. I think, unfortunately, that does happen. I think, unfortunately, that does happen. When that happens, we unfortunately go into our normal tribal veins. We tend to just see things from that perspective of, well, you know what? This is my thing. And if you don't, if you don't support me in this thing, well, then you know what? You're not a fan of that. You never were. Because this is what we, as fans, this is what we're supposed to believe. There's got to be a way to pick that up. I don't know what it is. Anyway, that is the issue. That is the problem. That is something that I've got a real problem with. Because unfortunately, it means that you end up destroying the thing that you love for something else. It means you break it up. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I 
see. I was wondering why the heck these things were not. They're slightly different. I wonder if I... Can I do it with this? No, I didn't think so. That's fun, though. But yeah, so... When I look at something like the current Warhammer controversy, where, you know what, people are, and it seems to be fairly obvious that people definitely are, butting into fans, you know, thing, and they're saying, you know what, no, we, you know what, we want it to be a certain way, and if you don't like that, then you're being kind of, you know, bigoted, because you're not allowing us to change this thing so that we enjoy it too. The problem with that is, you know what, if it already worked, if people already enjoyed it, then you know what? It's good enough on its own. You shouldn't need to make it different to appeal to other people. And it's not like Amazon is doing this out of the, you know, goodness of their own heart. They're not making this show for no reason whatsoever. They're clearly doing it because, you know what, they have a vested financial interest in making it. And you know what? These properties are not free. Guaranteed. They are either going to be paying a price to Games Workshop right out the gate in terms of, you know, some sort of a licensing fee, or they're going to be paying them out of the back end. Either way you spin it. That means that if you're not going to actually, you know, adhere to the fans' wishes, if you're not going to respect them, well then, you know what, you might as well just not have made this thing, because, to be perfectly honest, you're losing out on your investment. It's a foolish move. So why would you do it? Why would you put yourself in this position of, you know, subjecting yourself to the risk of losing out financially? There's no point to it. There's no point to doing that whatsoever. It's a very foolish move, and I just don't see the people behind Amazon making these moves. I just don't see it happening. Oh, do we find diamond? Is this diamond? Let's see. Oh, you know what? I think we actually need a... I think we actually need... Let's go ahead and forge a thing. Let's make a forge. I'm wondering if this is what diamond looks like. Man, all of these different... Is this... Cobble of Deeps? That's probably good enough, right? Let's see. Excellent. Of the opinion it's not. 
I'm of the opinion that, you know what, actually this makes perfect sense to me. People are getting upset about it now. Are they right to get this upset about it? Is that perhaps foolish? Is this a thing worth, you know, is this a hill worth dying on? I tend to think no, but then again, it's not my thing. It's definitely not, you know, it's not my thing. I'm trying to think if I can think of, you know, a similar type thing for me. Luckily, I've never been confronted with something like that where it's like, you know what, my hobby, uh, like something cherished from my childhood that I've put tons and tons of time into, really enjoyed, but also, you know, have a real affinity for, a real love for. And if someone were to just, you know, throw it away because they're like, you know what, nah, we're going to make a buck off this. Yeah, I would definitely be upset by that. I've never been put in that position because, fortunately, most of the stuff that I really like was made by Japanese people. And so far, they tend to be the most welcoming to the, uh, you know, fandoms. And again, I think that's because they understand that, you know what, we are making our money off of the backs of these people. We are convincing them to spend their hard-earned money on our properties, on our versions on our merchandise and realistically that's a huge part of it is you know you need to remember that merchandise is a huge a huge piece of this market of this share and that's purely driven by people who just love a thing so much so that they're willing to buy you know a $50 action figure the action figure might not even look that cool it might just be, you know, a super simple plastic piece of crap, but you know what? If it's of that character that you really like from that property that you really love, you will pay the money for that. I mean, and again, bringing that back to Warhammer, that's straight up why Warhammer 40K. I mean, that's why the figures cost what they do. Do you think it actually costs them that amount of money to make those figures Absolutely not. Perhaps back in the day, you know, you could have somewhat justified it. But nowadays, with 3D printers being a thing, absolutely not. In no way, shape, or form does it make any sense for those things to cost that much. The only reason they cost that much is because, you know what, people will buy it. They'll buy it because they like the lore, they like the story, they have memories of going to you know, games workshop, whatever, you know, some tabletop dungeon area, some store that they really like. And you know what? They had a lot of fun with it. That's why they're doing it. They're doing it for the community. And inherently, by changing the thing that they like, into something that, you know what, is not what they signed up for. You're hurting their community. You're, imp you're imputing on their tribe's territory. You're breaking them up. Now there's something to be said for, you know, hey, you know what, we want a tribe to be a little bit more inclusive. We want them to be a little bit more, uh, you know, accepting of other values and ideas. Okay. I can, I can see that, but to be honest, that's not what you think it is. That's not the inherent, absolute moral good that you think it is. It can be, it can be a good thing to be open-minded towards certain things, but again, like other people have said before me, you want to be open-minded, but not so open-minded that your brain falls out of your head. Yeah. Because eventually, that thing that you like, 
very probably, possibly, is going to just disappear. It's going to be broken up. They're going to lose it. And we don't want that. We don't want this thing that people like to just disappear for no reason. Because again, it would be no reason. There would be no reason for it whatsoever. Because again, they're not going to make money off of this. We know that. We can we can essentially prove that conclusively, 100%. They are not going to make money off of this thing. If they do what they're, you know, promising to do, it's just not going to happen. stuff. Let's see if we can find one more iron. If we can find one more iron, we can try to go to the nether. And that would be fun. I'm curious to see what the nether looks like in this in this texture pack. Actually, you know what? That might be a good thing to try next time. Unless there's a super sweet little iron deposit right over here. What do we think? We still need a bucket. I was gonna say I saw little magma stuff down here. Now, actually, you know what? Hang on. I did see a magma thing down here. I'm curious if I were to dig down. See, this is 1.6. It's only 1.61 that underneath the magma you get magma. You get lava. Come on, baby. There you go. I'm gonna get you. I'm going to get it. It's gonna happen, sweetheart. You're mine. I'm taking you. Uh, hopefully I don't end up... There we go. We're good. Do we get it? We got it. Okay. Let's go back to our Let's get back, let's get back, let's get back, let's get back. Let's get back to our lava. Get back to our lava bed. Make a nether portal. And we shall see if we can actually even do this anymore. I might just be incredibly foolish. You, you. And what do we want? Do we get any? God, we so didn't. That's unfortunate. All right. Wooden shovel, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we need it though. We were lucky to get it, to be honest. Blip, blah. Blip, blip. Bloop, blah, blip, blip. So 
probably screwed up because that wasn't four, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh no, actually, you know what? Here's what we can do. We can plop you there. Actually, we okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. One, two, three. Uh, how far up do I want this? One, two, three. I want this on top. I want this. I want this like on top. I don't want it here. How am I supposed to pop this up? Yeah, because it's supposed to be three up. You go here. should be catching on fire. Okay. Do these not catch on fire? What the hell's going on here? I don't see it. Maybe I actually just need straight wood. And let's try it. Because we know that goes. Maybe we just need to wait.
right next to you. There you go. You can do it. I kind of like the contrast between the uh, log burning and the fire. I think that actually looks pretty cool. It's like a... It, it reminds me of like a 90s FPS PC game. Are you serious with this? You're not going to catch on fire. Say goodbye.